guys, buy the samples. Go out sniffing. At that store, once I started walking down the street, I smelt my hand and I thought, oh no. Welcome back guys to another video. In today's video, I have something very exciting. I've never ever done this before on YouTube. So I just thought I would help you guys just from my own experience buying fragrances for many years of how to save money, how to be more savvy and how to make your fragrances work for you. I've written down a list um, just with all of the tips and tricks that I've done on how to save money whilst buying fragrances because Let's be for real, me, myself included, by the way, I have a fairly sized collection, not so much to the extent of maybe other people in Fracon. Um, I haven't counted how many fragrances I have, but that it's much less than maybe what other people have as fragrance collections. And I think when you're on social media, whether that's on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc., they have these huge collections. I'm talking like in the hundreds, um, if not the thousands sometimes. And I think people forget, first of all, they could have been sent those fragrances, you know, they could have been gifted them, etc., etc. So don't ever compare yourself to other people. Just because they have huge collections doesn't mean that they love every single fragrance. When I speak with my, my fragrance friends, um, you know, we always have the same type of opinion where if you are gonna be spending your hard-earned cash on fragrances, do it in a curated way. Buy fragrances that you really do love that you will wear and that's why even in my empties video people are like oh my god you have such a dent do you ever worry that you're gonna run out no because I really love the fragrances I have bought them for a reason and I'm gonna use them so anyway all of this to say this is a guide of how to save money how to buy the fragrances that you truly love and just hacks and tips and tricks. Now the first rule that I will say is quite an obvious one and it might seem like common sense to a lot of you but I think sometimes people forget this. It is to sniff in person and what I mean by that is I do a lot of fragrance vlogs and I will be doing more in the future. Why don't you just take um, on a weekend whether that's with your friends, with your family or wherever you're going, if there is a fragrance shop nearby why don't you just hop in, um, see what kind of fragrances they have on offer, if there's ones on your wish list. I mean, you could even make um, notes on your phone. I do this quite often, actually, where I have my wish list, I have my priorities, which ones I want to buy first or which ones I want to test first. And then when you're going into the store, you already have a list of which ones you want to try. So that can include new releases, ones that you've never smelt before. And then at least then, once you have it on a list on your phone, you can say, once you've actually sprayed it on your skin, mm, actually this doesn't smell as good as what I thought. Mm, actually, I really love this fragrance. Just before you actually go ahead and write any notes, my biggest, biggest recommendation is actually to leave it a while. So when you are shopping or just in that zone or in that area in general, leave that fragrance to just waft around on your skin for at least 30 minutes because in that way you're getting a true representation of what the dry down will smell on your chemistry and in that way you won't be disappointed. For example, I have a story just to like prove what I'm saying. When I went into, I think it was Liberties in London, I always wanted to smell again the San Miguel fragrance from Loewe. And that fragrance is quite expensive. It's about 230 or so pounds. I had it in my head impulsively. I was like, I'm definitely gonna buy this fragrance. I want it. I smelt it before and I thought it was amazing. Right, so what happened was I sprayed it on my skin in store and I absolutely loved the opening. I thought it was incredible and I bought the fragrance then and there. Now, once I'd hopped out that store, once I started walking down the street, I smelt my hand and I thought, oh no that has gone in a completely different direction, a little bit more masculine on my skin, um, oody, and not quite exactly what I was expecting from that particular fragrance. So I went into store and I returned it. I didn't open the fragrance, of course, but I returned it. And that just shows it helps you not regret potentially buying fragrance that you didn't want to buy in the first place once it dries down on your skin. And therefore you're saving money by not blind buying technically fragrances that you won't wear or that you don't love as much. Following from sniffing in person, if you prefer online shopping as opposed to shopping in person, which I know a lot of you do, and if you don't want to be, you know, harassed by different salespeople, etc. And if you do prefer buying things online, 
get the samples online. They're cheap. They're not even that expensive. A lot of them are like two or three quid per mil. That's all you guys need in terms of like sampling a fragrance. You don't need to buy the huge samples. You don't need to even buy a travel size. Sometimes it even comes with free shipping. I mean, how good is that? Like you're spending hardly any money you're trying new fragrances that you would have never tried before and it's not that expensive and one example of this they actually don't know that i'm doing this video i'm just doing it because i really love their website the send city they sent me this maybe a month or so ago and they are like a niche specialist online store specializing in samples if you were to watch my video and you were like do you know what i love the way that pika describes this fragrance i'm definitely gonna buy it because it's definitely up my street i love vanillas i love citruses etc and if you're so bought on the fragrance don't blind buy it guys you can get it sent straight to your door and you can actually sample it on your skin in person rather than spend off the bat £130 straight away which technically I think for this fragrance I mean for the quality isn't that bad just to say um, I have an affiliate link down below if you guys want to support me and if you just want to buy some cheap samples and with a great customer service with fantastic reviews then I think you'd you guys would love the sense it again it's saving you the regret of possibly blind buying something um, and then not loving it. I can't remember the last time that I've blind bought something, honestly. I don't want to spend my hard-earned cash buying something and then not enjoying it. And that is one thing I want people to get out of the habit of, specifically on YouTube and just on FragCom in general. I see a lot of women blind buying and it's not an issue. If you're confident in your skills, like knowing how a fragrance is gonna smell like potentially from the notes, then fantastic, go ahead. But I know a lot of people on the other hand have had to resell their fragrances because they've regretted buying them. So please buy the samples online. As I said, I do have a link down below. So if you want to support me, you can do it. Right, so this one might be a little bit more tricky. And the reason why I say this is you have to have good intuition. So I know for a fact, a lot of people resell their fragrances. So as I said, from the blind buying, a lot of people might not like the fragrance anymore. And you know, places like eBay, Vinted, Depop, etc., people do resell their fragrances. Now I have bought from those sites before and I've always been successful because either I see the person's history what they've been selling before, um, their reviews as well on their account, you know, for example, on eBay, are they like a 99, 100% stars? How many things have they sold? And it, has it always been fragrance related? A way to kind of indicate whether somebody is <laughs> legit or not is when you check their actual account itself, does it have tens and tens of fragrances all wrapped still, um, and at like a reasonably cheap cost. That to me is always a red flag. And the reason why I say that is they haven't worn the fragrance. They're doing a lot of this type of activity on their account and possibly they might not have a good rating because it could be fake fragrances. So please be aware guys, this tip slash hack might be a little bit more risque. Just as I said, you might fall into the trap of buying a fake fragrance. So please keep aware and just follow that account like have a look to see what they've sold before a good indication in in my opinion is when they've sold other things so they might have sold their clothes that they don't wear anymore like bags shoes etc maybe their hubby bought them a fragrance they didn't particularly like and they want to get rid of it that to me is a great account if they have a hundred percent you know track record if they've had good reviews and this is a one-off occasion so check the batch codes if you can if that specific brand has batch codes or like imprints on the actual fragrance itself, maybe just ask the seller, like get them to send you a picture of how it looks like and see if it matches up, you know, with the batches typically on these types of brands or fragrances. Another hack for you guys is if you are in the FragCom community in general, if you follow people on Instagram on TikTok, on fra um, fragrance, on YouTube, etc. Sometimes people will be decluttering their collections. 
maybe just DM them, you know? Some people actually say it on their stories that they're decluttering and maybe they're getting rid of some fragrances. Ask them to send you a list of the fragrances that they're selling. So you guys can exchange it that way. I mean, sometimes obviously you don't know the person really well, so please be cautious when you're doing this. But at the same time, typically a lot of people in FragCom will be decluttering their collections in general. This is a great way of communicating with fellow fragrance lovers and also possibly getting a fantastic deal all at the same time. I mean, when people are like reselling fragrances, if they've used quite a, like a decent chunk of it, you might find that it's like, a half price or even better so yeah i mean if that is something that you guys would like to do then that's another option if you find that the two that i've just talked about hacks are a little bit too risque for you then there are discount websites um, especially in the uk and the us that you can certainly have a browse on see if there's any good deals in the UK, there's a specific site that I tend to use called All Beauty. They have some really crazy discounts on fragrances, whether that's Zerjoff, Amouage, um, even Roger sometimes, like premium brands like Tom Ford, etc. And even like on specific days, like for example, what I've noticed, hack, towards the end of the month when people are starting to get their pays, that's when the discount codes tend to come out. I would always wait until maybe the 25th to the, to the 31st of that specific month to see if there's any discount. Also, if you wanna buy directly from a fragrance brand, they sometimes have like a 10% or 5% off if you subscribe to their newsletter. So. I tend to find sometimes it's better to buy directly from the brand. My camera just died. But what I was explaining is sometimes it might be cheaper to buy from the fragrance brand itself rather than buying from like a discounter or like a distributor online. And the reason for it is because um, shipping duties, tax, getting those fragrances over from say Italy, for example, might be a little bit costly and therefore you're paying extra on top of that. So. If you subscribe to their newsletter, maybe get 5, 10, 15% off, then you can get the fragrance and for a cheaper cost and from a source that you can trust. A great example of this would be Zerja, for example. Um, I don't know whether they still, or they do like that newsletter thing, but I will check for you guys. Other fragrance brands also do it. So just keep that in mind. Um, think, okay, actually I might save a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there, and I might get free delivery all at the same time. My last hack or tip, just in general, again, this might come across is common sense but I feel like I need to be your fragrance mother and just explain this properly budget every single month what you can afford I see a lot of people you know putting things on Klarna, Clearpay, credit cards etc and maybe you can't actually afford to buy the heaps of fragrances that you are buying and adding to your collection this is no shade no tea by the way this is just reality I've heard people going into major debt because of fragrances. Please don't do that. There is a lot more to life than going into debt for fragrances. Fragrances are fantastic. They might be a form of release for you. But at the same time, why put yourself into a deeper and darker hole? You could just enjoy what you currently have. And this is going back to the very first point, by the way. When you see people with these collections, please never compare yourself. You don't know their financial situation. You don't know their mental state, what kind of position they're in, whether they're a fragrance influencer, whether they've actually been sent those fragrances. So the number one thing is to understand your budget. On a monthly basis, I don't know, you earn... Let's do an average here, 1,800, 2,000 pounds after tax. You have your mortgage or your rent to pay, all of your other bills, and possibly towards the end of the month, you might have 100 or so pounds left to spend. Now, on your wish list, you might think, oh, actually, I have these two fragrances that I really want, which are maybe over that specific amount. Rather than spending that first month spend straight away on whatever you have on your wish list and more, wait another month. Wait until the next month when you have £200 worth of perfume money to spend and you can actually afford the fragrance that you really enjoy. Maybe the previous month, rather than spending that full £100, you can actually buy some samples to go alongside with your wish list. 
So all of these things, they do really make a bit of a difference. I've always been quite wary of not going into the trap of buying and buying and buying fragrances. I genuinely enjoy what I currently have. And although in a perfect world, I would love to own every single fragrance known to man, the reality is I don't have the money to spend on that. And the reality is as well, I rather spend that money on different things, whether that's experiences with my friends, whether that's other things like clothing, jewelry, etc. So don't let fragrances dictate your life or livelihood in general. This is my biggest, biggest advice to all of you out there. Fragrance addiction is quite a real thing. Um, you know, you have shopping addictions in general and it is tempting to go down that hole because when you get a new fragrance and it comes in the post, you're like, oh my God, it's a dopamine release. And technically your body's like, wow, I have something new. This is so exciting. But equally you have to think, is this really healthy? And you know, I make jokes of it on TikTok and stuff like that. Like, oh, my boyfriend's gonna kill me because I'm buying a new Now that's all meant to be comedic effect. But the reality is, is that people are actually going through a type of addiction when it comes to shopping and fragrances in general. So even when you watch my channel, guys, buy the samples, go out sniffing, get yourself a discount. Stop it, get some help. Maybe even speak with other Fracom people and possibly buy on secondhand websites. These are all hacks, tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. As I said, I don't have a huge collection, but I don't frankly care. As long as I enjoy the fragrances that I do, then that is my number one thing. Anyway, I feel like I'm ranting here. This was for a good reason. I felt like I needed to get it off my chest and also give you guys some advice on how to save some money and budget all at the same time. So I'm gonna link below some really cool websites where you can possibly get discounts, things like this. As I said, also the Sense City where you can get samples for a really good deal and possibly, you know, discounted fragrances towards the future full bottles. I hope you guys have a fantastic week or weekend whenever I'm posting this and I'll see you guys later. Bye!